Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. As the recording of this is Tuesday, February 13th, 2024. I will be going to my first professional basketball game in decades. The last one I attended was at the Arena, the Orlando Arena, that was imploded, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago, give or take. But I went to games there in the early 90s when a guy by the name of Shaquille O'Neal was a rookie and played for three, four years for the Magic before going on to other teams. But I always, when I think of Shaq, I think of him with the Magic wearing number 32. Tonight, they will be retiring his number, and I believe he is going to be in the new stadium, the Kia, Kia Center, no longer called the Amway. Very confusing. I have not kept up with basketball, seen too many games over the years, but I've been thinking about wanting to go to Orlando Magic game, and I think tonight is the night. If I'm going to kind of get back into it, tonight's the night I should be there because I have a little bit of a soft spot for Shaquille O'Neal being here in Orlando. First moved here in 91 with my family. The next year, Shaq was a rookie with the Magic. You can see him driving around the streets of downtown Orlando in his big truck. The Superman tattoo he got, he got on a tattoo shop back when tattoo shops were not plentiful over on Orange Blossom Trail, just past the Florida Mall. So kind of a hometown boy in a lot of ways. So it'd be kind of neat to be there to see Orlando celebrate their former basketball son. I'm inviting you to join me. Long intro, shall you? And I am wearing an appropriate t-shirt, my Walt Disney World Mickey shirt. In fact, there were three or four chosen names that were in kind of a pool of what the team was gonna be called. They went with Magic in a roundabout way based on Magic Kingdom. So there's a little bit of a Disney tie-in to the team as well. And they're also celebrating their 35th anniversary. The team started in 89, just like Disney's MGM, now Hollywood Studios, also celebrating their 35th this year. And while cruising over, listening to this album that he released while he was on the team here, Shaq Diesel, his first album as a rapper. Also traffic. Not the most fun at this hour. Tip-off is at 7.30, it's 5.45. I'm not going westbound. If I go to Rays games, I go westbound on I-4. I'm going eastbound, and still not very kind. But it is, at least it's moving. Made it downtown now, I'm over here off of Livingston. And I wanna pull in here to what is the old Edge parking lot. Home of the Edge concert field, formerly the Edge, and then was the eight seconds and then the ace cafe and then it closed but i saw my first concerts i ever saw in early 93 spring of 93 i think it was early winter of 93 early 93 i saw naughty Na naughty by nature back here and the reason i bring that up i mentioned it before i did a whole video about seeing green day on this property and seeing pennywise and offspring and all that but one tickets on xl 106.7 very early 93 i think it was shaquille and second season and he just walked over. I mean, the, the old arena was like a block from here. The new arena, the Kia Center, is a little farther. Maybe he had someone drive over, but it'd be, it would have been easy to just walk across underneath the Interstate 4 at the time was not as hectic. And there was a shed right here called the Edge Shed. The Edge was right over there, which was an indoor venue. But then they had an outdoor section here, which is now a lighted tennis court that is no longer being utilized. It was right here. The shed was, and Shaq was there in the in the pit, throwing people around, slam dancing a little bit, getting his groove on. Of course, that was before people were filming everything and cell phones and all that. But that a little little Shaq memory. All right, moving on. I also want to show this empty parking lot, just because it pertains to the subject matter. This was where the Amway Center was that was imploded. Before that, I think they just called it the Orlando Arena. Short. The Arena, Orlando Arena, and this is where the last Magic game I ever went to in the early 90s. Went to a couple of them. Saw Shaquille O'Neal play at a couple. But it was right here before they imploded it, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 years ago. Right here behind Lake Dot. And they haven't built anything. They built stuff around it, but the front entrance was right here. Now there's just a little grassy berm. And this is about a block, two blocks, two or three blocks away from 
the Ed Shed where that concert was, that really small, intimate, Naughty by Nature concert. Found parking for $15. Not too far from the stadium. Kia Center. I don't know if this will renew my love of going to games, but I thought I'd have a good time. The retiring of his jersey number happens after the game. Over to a few people wearing some Lakers jerseys. So here's the Orlando Magic office there. Obviously Shaq played for the Lakers and a lot of people know him from that team. But he got to start here. It all began here. Shaq Diesel, Shaq Attack. Man, I think NBA Jam, how much NBA Jam I played with Shaq in there. Boom, shakalaka. Got some throwbacks tonight to my, my noggin today. And right there on the side, oh, bus going by. Right there on the side, celebrating 35 years of the Orlando Magic. The Kia Center located right off I-4. You can kind of see the I-4 traffic going by. All right, heading in. This place is impressive. I want to say it might be a little bigger than the old arena. Now, I did come in here for an event once, but I can't remember what it was. It wasn't a Magic game, but I've been in here one, one time before. All right, I am in. Magic and Mickey. Check it out. There's stuff. If you look over here, you got Spaceship Earth. Right up top there, you even got Mickey, even got the cruise line, even got some Disney characters. A little Magic. To get the get the get the mood. All right, gotta start off with a little pipe got caffeinated beverage from Bones Coffee Company. Yeah, Bones. On opening night, O'Neill torched the heat with 42 points. Oh, remember those? The Shaq Pepsis. They even got the little pop figure there. There he is, number 32. Get a Shaq size shoe signed by the big guy himself. Well, you stop by the kiosk here. Alright, this is the fan experience over here. The man of the hour. First playoff, April 1994. Magic draft, May of 93, having just 66 ping pong balls in the cylinder. Later, number comes up and gives the Magic first draft selection. Oh man, can't forget about Penny. This brought back memories seeing, seeing this jersey. Oh, here we go. Here's the O'Neill 32. Pretty good little museum they got here. Going down the line, Nick Anderson. Oh, Anthony Hardaway? Man, I haven't heard that name in a while. Tracy McGrady. Dennis Scott. This is awesome too. There he is right there in the middle. Dwight Howard. There's another name. Oh my gosh, Scotty Skiles. It's amazing how something I haven't followed in so long, stuff just comes like jars back in your memory. Yeah, there's the arena, the one that, got, that imploded right there. That was it, the property I drove by a moment ago. Magic moments on VHS. Power behind the magic. The Louisville Slugger there for some reason. They even have lockers from the original arena right here. This all 
kind of all kind of stats being posted. Twice with Orlando, he now scored 49 points, tied for his fourth highest scoring total of his career. And this is what the newscaster was showing a moment ago. Signed Shaq jersey right there. The size of his shoe. Signed right there by Shaq. Signed all this stuff. I recently watched Kazam. Not Shazam, which is not a real movie, but Kazam, the starred Shaq. It's on Disney Plus. Watched it recently. Pretty cheesy and corny, but a lot of fun. I used to have one of these. Consumed a couple of these Pepsis back in the day, and I used to have one. I don't know what ever happened to it. Man, some of this is freaking awesome. Nice little basic shirt here. I like that a lot. I don't know. Maybe this will renew my interest in the game. And you know that I, I'm a homeowner in the general vicinity. It'd be kind of nice to have a another sport to occasionally pop in. I mean, baseball's my baseball's really the only sport I really truly love. But you never know. Maybe this would be a start of something. Something renewed. And if that happens, I'll have to think the man himself. I think a lot of it's just nostalgia. I'm big on nostalgia, obviously. $159 for this one. Look at that. It's got the O'Neill on the back, too. I mean, it should. It's number 32, but... That's killer. There's even a little leg gold legends figure up there. Man, I was mentioning this a moment ago. They actually have an NBA Jam machine. Can't buy a bucket. You know how many quarters? When I worked at Publix in the early 90s, I would get my entire page. Still lived at home, so I didn't have to pay rent or anything like that. Early 90s. What was I, 17? I would have been 17 years old, first got my car, that first year in 93, I spent a lot of money on NBA Jam. Boom shakalaka. Novelties, wakuzis, pennants, lanyards, socks, buttons. And then over here, I like this, uh, this style here. Oh, here's another, another one over here. These are under the best sellers sign. A pretty long line over here for a magic, magic button station. You can get whatever player you want on a button. Oh, there's another one I didn't see. Just kind of make, walking around the perimeter of this awesome stadium. And I was just informed that they have a specific ticket for tonight a souvenir ticket is selling fast next to one of the gift shops there was a mural like put on by walt disney world it's kind of interesting they have a whole cast of characters wearing shirts with different attractions at walt disney world that are going to watch the magic game which is kind of neat i didn't know they had this in here they really put really walt disney world has a really big push in the arena itself and uh, one of the workers at one of the booths said hey you really need to get this because there is a limited amount of these being made so she said by the end of the night they'll be sold out so i went ahead and grabbed one now this is a commemorative ticket of the evening it was 35 dollars so i went ahead and purchased it. i got myself a little souvenir i don't think i'm gonna buy a t-shirt or a foam finger or anything like that but they did have some specialty for 45 dollars they had a specialty date stamp shirt for the night too they had like the cartoon character shack on it but i opted to get this it doesn't take up a lot of space and it's kind of a, a, a good little memory of tonight and a memory from the 90s when I would see him play, you know, back in the early 90s at the other, at the other arena. Nice. All right, I ended up drinking the coffee. I got a water for my seat. Interesting, you cannot walk away with a water with the cap on. They make you, they make you take the cap off in front of them and throw it away because they do not want the cap being thrown on the court. <laughs> Bad seats.
After the plays, the only time is when they're doing free throws. That's the only time there's no music. Like it's like a full-on party in here. This is the only time there's no music. Thank you. 
maybe a whole lot has happened. So thank you guys so much. Shaquille and the other players that he was with during his tenure here. I'm heading out now. That's pretty pretty cool. I don't know how many games. I don't know, I really know how many basketball games I'll go to. I wasn't super into the experience. I did enjoy the game and I enjoyed the hype. And I enjoyed, you know, just watching the gameplay. The only thing I didn't really care for is the fact that there's very little quiet time at all. You couldn't really even hear the players, the... You want us to stay for the just trying to think, like, you really couldn't... It didn't really feel like I was at a basketball game. So you know how... Sometimes when you're like at a barcade playing a video game and there's like music blaring, you don't actually get to hear the games. Now there were some giveaway jerseys and a lot of people left early. Y'all already know when they give it out free shit, you already know people gonna double back. You got people that stuff So the people that left early before the ceremony was over got the at the end of the night they were supposed to give out free jerseys to everyone. The free Shaq jerseys with the 32 on them. 
but I guess people were getting more than one each. It's, not, it's fine. I didn't really need one. I'm sure there's people that are probably pretty disappointed. So I guess they were getting but I noticed a lot of people, the ceremony went pretty, ran pretty long, and a lot of people were leaving before the ceremony was over. So I guess the people <laughs> stuck around to the end of the ceremony who were supposed to get the jerseys, didn't get the jerseys. You know, it's buy one, but yeah, I think that was part of the, it was included in the deal with getting the tickets. Well, that's gonna do it for today. I had a good time. Really enjoyed watching the game, I will say, I don't know how many more of these I would go to. Maybe if it was like a postseason run or something like that. But the hype is real in there and a lot of it comes from the feeding of the music that's happening the whole time. I was kind of shocked. I don't know if it used to be this way, but I was kind of surprised that they, they play music during the gameplay. Even during timeouts, it is like a part, it's like the party zone in there. I don't even know how the coach can talk to the players when they're doing those lengthy timeouts. The only time there was any, any stop in the music, it was like constant music being pumped in, loud music and da like dance music, was when there was a free throw. Interesting, I don't know if it used to be that way. Well, that's gonna do it for today. Orlando magic. Yeah, I definitely am more of a going to a baseball game experience. I did, it was definitely very fast paced. But I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm a going to a basketball live kind of guy. It was fun. Every once in a while it'd be fun, but man, I am ready for spring training and baseball season to kick in. I do love some Shaq though. I'm glad I came. And I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.